Hey, 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 out there. It's been a minute since I talked about Prissy P in the PR game with her and her husband. Um, but I watched her video that she did like six days ago. She, like I said, she really don't uh, come on um, YouTube anymore because she said the people are mean and, you know, have harsh things to say. That she be on Facebook all the time, you know, because Facebook, they, you know, people have said that they pay more. So she go live on Facebook, okay? Um... But let's get up into this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. But let's get up into this. So, ever since that stuff came out about uh, Rayshon talking to another woman, which her and him not, didn't deny, but that's their business. They did not come on and say nothing about it. They did not deny. They did not say it was true. They did not say it ain't true. They did not speak on it. He just, ever since then, Rayshon just been looking kind of weird over there. Just kind of really looking like out of place. I don't want to be on camera that much. Uh, when they do their vlogs together on her on her channel, um, when they you know when she went out for her birthday, she, he didn't want to be seen in the video before that. When they went out with friends, he usually come on and he talk. He get in the camera. Y'all know how he do. I've been watching him for a minute. He ain't doing it no more since everything came out about him. Okay. I don't you know walk. You don't want to be bothered. You know since everything came thing came out of him, but. The point is, like, people have been saying for the longest, they don't put that much effort in their videos. I'm more they lazy with the content. I mean, it's obvious. When he came on camera uh, yesterday, in Publix, it was really awkward. It was boring. It was just him sitting there staring at the camera. He said a couple of words, asking people what's their favorite sandwich. But really, he was just like, and it was like he was hard. It was like it was hard for him to eat the sandwich. It was like he was, you know, he ate the sandwich, but it was like he really didn't want, you know. It just was weird. It was weird. It just like he didn't want to really eat the sound. It was I ain't gonna say weird. I'm gonna say awkward. Um, he really didn't have no conversation. And when he really come on with uh, when he come on with Prissy, they really don't have no conversation too. But he do talk a little bit more. But they still be just trying to rush and eat the food. Um, their videos are shorter and shorter. People do say this is mukbang. It's about the food, but. Um, yeah, it is about the, the food. It ain't really about talking. It's just really about eating. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when you um, start out, start doing talking and eating and talking and interacting with the people, people going to expect it from, the, you know, they're going to start expecting it every time. And that's what people are saying. They were doing it. But now they get to the point where they just don't really care. Seems like they really don't care for YouTube like that, you know. Seems like they really don't care for it to come on. They only come on every now and then to show their face. Be six, seven days. They don't post, but they blame it on she moving and and she got all these other business adventures. But you have time to get on Facebook and go live for forty, fifty an hour. So you really don't add up. Just really like some excuses going on here. But it look, it look like. The man, you know, he there because he don't have a choice. It seems that's what it seems like. He do have a choice, but some I'm gonna say this: some men they have a choice, but they just don't want to be alone. They don't want to pay bills on themselves. They don't want to know how to live by themselves. They don't want to pay live by themselves. They want they want to live with a woman or live off a woman. I'm not saying he don't do that because he works. I'm not saying he's living off her. He works. He got a job, out. and he they they build a home together. But he really don't seem like he. I ain't gonna say I'm not in their house every day, but from the videos, from what I see on the camera, don't seem like he's really happy in the relationship. It's like he's just a tag along in the marriage and a tag along with her family. Um, you never really see him uh, talk about his family because I guess he probably don't want to. That's his choice. But it seems like you just see her, you know, Mom Brie and her, her brother. And that's it. And we see the girls. Um, but that's it. But, you know, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. It's kind of really awkward to me. It's really, really awkward. And it gets to a point where, what's the point? What's the point of coming out here doing a book bank if you, see it, if you feel like you're being forced or you feel like you're forced to come on and do content because you got a channel? But you really don't want to come on and eat and talk to the people. Or you really don't want to come on and interact with the people. That's a waste with, of time. Um, just like with a pussy. She said she don't want to be on her channel her, her life. Y'all be mean. Y'all be rude. They more friendly over here on Facebook. 
so she really don't want to come and interact with you guys anymore. Uh, this is common sense. It's obvious. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me to that 500. I get my community post. And y'all go up from there. I'm trying to get to that 1,000. See y'all in the next one. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And let me know who else y'all want me to look at and talk about or check out. And I'll see what I can do. See y'all in the next one.